Hi everybody, welcome to Letters Page. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. This is the show from Comic Pop where we take your letters or packages and or both, open them up and show you what we got, and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you know what I'm starting to think? What's that? I don't think Ethan made it out of the conversions. I don't think so either. No. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I'm looking forward to taking over his room. <laughs> First up, we got a letter here from Haley. H-A-L-E? Yeah. Or Hallie. Or Hallie. Or Hallie, yeah. Uh, but this was my bad. I, it was on my pile, and I didn't get to it last episode of my letters page. And I love it because at the back it says, please open a letters page with a smiley <gasps> face. Smiley face! So we're not going to vet this one. We're just going to open it. We're just going to do it. Open it. Dear Sal, Ben, Ethan, and Tiffany, <gasps> I love comic pop, especially your back issues videos. Yes. I'd love to see a video on Batman, the Black Mirror, if you get the chance. Oh. Your channel has made me want to start my own YouTube channel about comics. Nice. Nice. Questions. One. Do you have any tips, advice for starting a channel like yours? Be us. Yeah. Uh, especially because I'm a girl and feel like I might not get taken seriously for discussing comics. Don't don't have that mindset. If you have that mindset going into it, that that's what's going to happen. Don't let that be a self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Don't have... go into it like I'm a girl doing this. Just go into it doing it. Yeah. You're just a person doing it, and that's all that matters. Yeah. First up, when you and just as a general thing, I think this is. I mean, I don't really feel qualified giving out this kind of advice, but I'll do it anyway, because that's how I do it. And uh, I'll say, in the beginning at least, make videos that you would enjoy or that you would want to watch. Yeah. Yeah, very fair. Uh, number two, do you have any plans for any future comic pop segments, like back issues, off the rack, etc.? Yes, we do. We have lots of plans in the pipeline that we want to uh, roll out within this year. So look forward to that. I want to give it away, just because if we don't do it, then it looks like we don't follow through. So... We're rolling out. Yes. <clears throat> uh, number three. Since I'm somewhat new to your channel and I don't know much about you guys, do you work at a comic shop? No. But you did for I a while. I used to, yes. Uh, I'd also like to know more about you all and possibly see some videos on your personal favorite comics, characters, etc. Okay. All right, why not? Let's do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, oh this is uh, number four for Ben and Ethan. No. I'll respond. Uh, I'll be when Ethan. did you start? Okay, when did you start reading comics? Ethan? Uh, well, I don't actually read comics. I will read the comics that Sal gives to me um, to read for the shows. That is his um, answer every time he's asked the question. So, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, it's I just whatever them. I've read having to do with the shows, what Sal's told me about, and I also read Watchmen. That was my first comic, so. That was amazingly yep, accurate. Exactly <laughs> right. uh, I started reading comics probably about six years ago. Uh, Sal really got me into some. My sister got me into some. I mostly read trades, and I don't read a lot of them, uh, so... You know, I'm still very unversed in a lot of the comic history and characters and lore and all of that. I get. I feel like Ethan doesn't always watch the show sometimes when he's not on them, and I feel like this is the one he's going to watch. Oh, yeah. And he'll be I'm like, gonna, I'm going to yeah. hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I, I don't sound like it. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was, but that wasn't me. No. Um, thank you for taking the time to read this and for all of the work and effort you put into your videos and for making Comic Pop the wonderful community that it is. Thank you. I don't have any friends who share my love of comics, but you guys and your videos have become those friends. Oh, thank you. Nice. Uh, your videos truly brighten my day, and I'm very happy for all of you and your well-earned success through your channel. Your love and dedication for your channel and viewers is very much appreciated. Yay. Thank you for all that you do. Keep being awesome. Definitely. Uh, well, we said, will try. Yes, we will try to maintain that. And then there's a heart, and it's Haley M. Pronounced Haley, though, I know, it's weird. Oh. Nice! So, hey, you thank you right. for the pronunciation. Yeah. Yes. Totally. Uh, oh, sorry, one more question. Ooh, mm, what do sure. DC and Marvel Comics do uh, that you recommend that have crazy plot twists, shocking moments, or unique plots? Books similar to Black Mirror, Batman Hush, or Superman Red Sun? Uh, I guess I'd recommend just because we talked about it. Earth One Batman was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and on Marvel's side, I'd say Superior Spider Man. Yes. I was like, what? <laughs> There's some Ghost Rider books that definitely have uh... crazy plot twists. There's none of those <laughs> crazy plot twists out there, sort of. What? <laughs> yeah, that's just Ghost Rider's line in that I book. Know. Anyway. So yeah, yeah. <gasps> thank you for your letter. letter. Yeah, thank you so much, Haley. Here we go. Here. Oh, thank you. Hey, Comic Pop, love your shows, and congrats on over 14,000 plus subscribers. We just hit 15,000 yesterday. Yeah, so thanks for being late, Shane. Yeah, what a douche. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, uh, you. I'm, sending... <laughs> I'm sending you guys a few things I got from a friend of mine through a trade. The first is a Marvel. Ooh. First, get the box. Whoa. Get the box. Get the hammer, Ben. It's a Marvel trivia box. 
Tiffany? A marble trivia box. What's that? That's cool. Nice. And the second is a Koto Bukia. Yeah. This is like a magic it just trick. Keeps going. It looked like you were disemboweling <laughs> the box. At the end of that, Ben's underwear was going to be attached. Here's <laughs> a Koto Bukia Captain America statue. Really oh, nice. Awesome. Dude. Nice. Dude. Oh, <laughs> for a Dude. second. Oh. Uh, he got them as a birthday gift from his aunt and uncle, but he never opened them and has been using them primarily as paperweights. <laughs> so when I got them from him, my immediate thought was comic pop. Dude, thank you. Dude, can that's... put it better use than I can. That's a busted. This is a game. This is a show. People live out of this. They're so amazing. I love. Oh my god! I was literally just looking at this Black Widow figure the other yeah. day. Yeah. Because I remarked, look at how normal she looks. Like, she looks like a person. Her, yeah. she, she doesn't her proportions have, like, are particularly giant, like boobs that are exploding exactly, past her yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, but she looks awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, these are all sweet. Maybe one day you can review the cat statue and busted, <laughs> and play happen. the Marvel trivia box on a episode of Let's Pet Let's Play. And test your Marvel knowledge. I know Sal's way too OP for this. Maybe Ben, Ethan, and Tiffany learned a thing or two from the episodes back. Issues off the rack. They participated in and can give well, him a run for his it, money. It'll just be like comic, the rest of comic pop versus, versus, versus Sal. Versus Sal. I love yeah. that idea. Yeah. Uh, so take care and good luck. Oh, and have fun. Oh, we Sincerely, proud member of the population or poplar, Shane. <laughs> P.S. Are you guys planning on doing a follow-up to your Agents of Shield season one review? Because I thought season two was fantastic. Yes. Uh, eventually we will, probably. We saw, I mean, like, a couple of us watched the whole thing and yeah. really enjoyed it. And some of us uh, watched a couple of episodes? episodes once in a while, like, here and there when yeah. it got home in time. When it was on, yeah. Uh, don't care about those inhuma inhumans, but whatever. Uh, also, what are your thoughts on the other superhero shows like Agent Carter and Daredevil? I loved them. I really enjoyed Agent Carter. Yeah. I thought it was really fun. We loved watching oh, it. Oh, yeah. Looking yeah. forward to season two. And, of course, Daredevil oh, is phenomenal. Daredevil was so good. Can't yeah, we, wait for season two. We never did anything about that. We never did no. Daredevil. We did, a, we did a comic commentary on the first trailer after, like, the third trailer came out. Uh, but we should do something about Daredevil probably when season two comes out. Kaylee's nested in the, in the paper. Yeah. In the paper. Yay. Yay. So thank you so much, Shane. We really, really appreciate it. We're going to a ton of fun with this. I think we should ask Sal a question right now out of the trivia. Do it. True or false? Captain America was only married once to Sharon Carter. False. Why? Because he was never married. That's what it says! It says Captain America. It says false. Captain America was never married. Ha ha! Hey. All right, now it's my turn. All right. Okay. This is going to be a disaster. Yeah. We'll see if Ben knows this one. Here okay. we go. Eric Masterson was the second alter ego of what famous Marvel superhero? Oh, God. Uh, second alter ego of Eric Masterson. <laughs> no. Uh, all right, I'm just going to go for a quick guess. Um, Magneto? No, that would be Eric Lyncher. Or Eric Le Eric Leshner. Lesh Lynch? Lyncher. Lyncher, yeah. Lyncher. Yeah. Sal, like... who, do you know who? It's Thor! Eric Masterson is it's Thor! Thor! You idiot! It's Thor! You idiot! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh! No, uh, Eric Masterson played Thor in Infinity Gauntlet. See, I didn't know his name was Eric oh, Masterson. Oh, yeah. I, I say it every once in a while really derisively. Also, he then played uh, Thunderstrike. Okay. When they were like, alright, we're done with you being Thor. But we're not done with selling your books. Tiffany, it's your turn. Oh, I don't yeah. know this. Here we go. All right. True or false? Oh, I hate true or false. So Unsure about his role as Captain America, Steve Rogers once changed his identity to a hero called Nomad. True. Yes. I was like, no, Cap was not always Cap. No. He was, the, <laughs> he was Nomad and the Captain. Oh, here you go. All right, can I get a multiple choice one? Yes, you're going to <laughs> Who joined the New Avengers as Ronin in order to investigate the Silver Samurai? Oh, that was Hawkeye. Hawkeye, Echo, or the Red Guardian? Oh, oh that's not fair. It was Echo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so this much, awesome. man. This is awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to play There are other rules to it, too. There's like steel cards and stuff Ooh. like that. So there's definitely just more than just trivia to this. We will be doing something with that. Salutations, Comic Pop. Hey, Fred. 
Up until a few weeks ago, I never had a comic book shop to go to unless I went to Newberry and tried to find the books I read there. Wait, like Newberry Comics in Boston? I hope not. That's a drive. Well, they're from Rhode Island. Now, I found a place down the street from my school's campus, and I've been getting books from there, including a lot of titles you've, mentioned, you've been mentioning on your shows. Oh, cool. With the increase of comics finding their way into my room, I've needed to make some space for them. And I've yeah. decided to let go of some books I've had, and I know that sending them to you is sending them to a place where uh, they will be of some good. It's true. What you guys decide to do with them, I know, will be for the best. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we won't burn them. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one to balance on my head so I can become a proper lady. Oh, that's a good idea. We've been waiting for that. Well, for the debutante's ball. Right. Yeah, it's coming up. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Was I not invited? Clearly. Awkward. Wow. I also threw in some books I picked up from a family-owned toy store and from my new shop that I knew would tickle some fancies amongst your group. Okay. Thank you all for your hard work and wonderful content and occasionally being the best parts of some days. With the information I've gained from watching your videos, I have become equal parts Sal and Tiff at my work. <laughs> Help me to explain why certain things are happening in the new comics and movies while handing out indie comics to co-workers like I'm selling drugs. That's the way you do it. you got to push them like that. Like, right. you know, yeah, like get them, get them an issue and then be like, yeah, you want to read the rest? The, here, you got to buy the trade. Yeah. yeah check them out. Mm. <laughs> Saga is my go-to gateway. It is a great gateway. And getting them hooked on image one book at a time. At times, at other times, I feel like Ethan and Ben, as co-workers, tell me about the comics they used to read growing up, and I learn more about the history of the medium. Oh, yeah. That's cool! That's awesome. You're getting the all-around mm -hmm. comic pop experience. It's true. That's what it's like. Thanks. We're everywhere. What? We're everywhere. We are? Yeah. In people's hearts and minds. Oh, there you go. Okay, fine. Thank you all again for everything that you do, and I hope you enjoy the books. Fred. Hey, man. Awesome. Thank you. Last time, oh, P.S., last time I promised you guys a Spider-Man bucket on your 10K subscriber video. This isn't it. Ha! <laughs> okay. This is another one. I'm trying to figure out how to ship the real one. Cool. And then there's, oh, wow. there's a Blue, Blue Sun, Sun logo at That's the bottom, awesome. which is cool. sweet. And hey, we just hit 15K, so it's, it's kind of a nice little milestone. Like 10K, time. 15K, boom. There we go. There's no way of working that in. Can I? Yeah. No! <laughs> okay. Alright, here's our bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> Yay! It's that's a Spider Man <laughs> bucket. Awesome. Literally. I love it's like it. A pail. It's a pail. Oh, we gotta bring that to the beach this summer. Yeah, make sweet castles. Keep spiders in some, it. Some keep Frank castles. Keep some. Keep some spider venom in there. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and then we can lap it up and then have the power of the spider. That's... Oh, it's disgusting! No. We're There's not, a lot we're of spiders I can get from. Looks like we've got Ooh. Batman Beyond Industrial Revolution. Awesome. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you may also like. <laughs> What is it? Oh, cats! Oh, oh cats. no! That's awesome! <laughs> the one and only one! Oh, Look at these covers! Yeah, those are awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, How holographically God. sweet it is. There, this is also, this is raised. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can feel them. I'm like, ooh, boobs. Yeah, that is some color. Ah, uh, you can see the sheen. It's beautiful. It's so shiny! It's beautiful! They should have sent a poet. This is amazing! Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. really sweet. Now, are these uh, numbered in order? I think yeah, they yeah. are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Nice. We, 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 yeah, screw seven. Well, they're like, mm, I gotta keep seven. Lucky number seven. Oh. The return of Superman Polly Bay! What? That's awesome! Oh, this is great. That's insane. What comes in now that we, one? Now we can sell both. This and be like, you have the death yeah. and the return. No, I'm just kidding. No it. one is going to buy it. It's, uh, what's it? What do you mean? Is, or is there, like, is there something special in there? Yeah, there's uh, mullet Superman in it. No, he doesn't come back until much later. This is like, there's a card 
Are those cards of all the new Superman that, co- that are in here? Uh-huh. Yeah, the Skybox of Bloodlines trading card. Yeah, featuring the four. Super- it's just literally a card with the four, like each one in each. Oh, okay. And a like weird decal of Jonathan Kent's hand reaching that you can peel off the front cover. That's weird. Yeah, it's very bizarre. What? This was a huge deal because, like, obviously, Death of Superman was polybagged. They returned the like, let's polybag this one, and retailers went. Ballistic, right? And because bought, of like what up, a gazillion of these. Uh, I remember running into our old comic book retailer, like that had since retired when I left for college, and we were talking to him, and he's like, "Hey, do you guys need a copy of the Return of Superman polybag? Because I have about ten thousand copies of <laughs> my storage." <laughs> and he's like, "Please buy one. Please buy one." I'm like, "Please buy twenty. <laughs> wow! But I bought. Oh, I bought, you buy one. I'll throw in, toss in forty nine for free. Yes, yeah, exactly. I bought three of them. When they did came. you really? I did. Wow. You really wanted that hand. You're, you're yeah. jumping on the hype train, huh? I did. Woo woo! Woo woo. Quad City DJs. Thundercats? Thundercats? Wow! That is an old Thundercats! Look at that! What the hell? I didn't even know they made Thundercats comics. Well, that's because so they were cool. on the move. Yeah. They were loose. Yeah. This is Collector's not, item, first issue. When did this come? Out. That looks like it came out in like well probably 1986 I'm guessing 25. Star Shit. Comics. I've never heard of that company. Okay, this was 65 oh, it's cents. I mean it was 65 cents originally. Ooh. Right. Oh sweet. Nice. That's awesome. Kelly Sue DeConics, Captain Marvel Volume One. This is awesome. You were gonna like the hell out of this. Oh no. If this requires any sort of pogo sticking or <laughs> collecting ice cream to keep me safe, this is going to be an issue for me. This is a critically acclaimed look. Donald's what? In it. People love. Oh, yeah, there. He's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Carl sense. Banks like it wrote the definitive or did the definitive like Donald Duck. Or, uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck. It's a lot of. It, there's a lot of like weird lore attached to it. That's cool. Yeah, that's. that's I'm looking insane. forward to reading this. I love the art in it. Yeah, it wow. looks like I'm watching an episode of Ducktales. Yeah. Hey, hey! Morrison! Oh no! This is awesome. Wow! Look at how they printed his name. It's a lowercase i. That's weird. Very weird. He probably asked for the. Name I'm not sure that. if it's a lowercase i or if it's just like a scratch. No, it's it's a lowercase i. Like oh, the like in the font. Drawn in the font. Maybe just the i. This Just is uh, after Batman went back it's through time. Lost in time. Oh, yeah. So That's quite as Batman went back in time, and these this is those adventures of him going through time and being like pirate Batman. And that is that all right? That's this. That sounds cool. Yeah. Is it? It's written by Grant Morrison, so it's 50 fifty. Yeah. You know, look at that beard. How can that not be cool? Yeah. Yeah. Cave Batman. He's Black Bat. Pirate Batman. I like or, Cave or Batman. Bat, look bat at him. Beard. He's wearing a a big bat head. And you know, Puritan Batman. Yeah. Verily. Forsooth. <laughs> so, this is. Forsooth? Awesome. Verily? Come on! It barely works. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit! Yeah. Frank Miller's Ronin. Yep. Ben doesn't like this. It's one of the books I've actually read. Yeah. Because I was like, oh man, Frank Miller! Ronin! This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading this again. Another Wildcats. Shit. Grant Morrison Morrison's Wildcats. written Wildcats. I didn't know Grant Morrison wrote any Wildcats. That's awesome. This is awesome. This is newer, though. Yeah. It's not that new. What's 2006? Oh, yeah. Jim Lee. Nice. Yeah, well, he's... Yeah, he, uh, Wildstorm was his studio. Like He owned that. All right, and we have one more thing in this box. Okay, let's hear it. Are you ready? I, I don't know. I'm, behind, I'm beside myself with this generosity right now. Oh, shit. It's the Death of Deadpool. That was a hefty cover price, man. I hope you didn't pay full price. Well, it's 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 a it's, big book. It's though. it is a it's a big book. A lot of You're cool things. Down. Deadpool dies. Well, I mean, there is. The, it says the death of Deadpool. Yeah, well, uh, it's, we're not talking DC here. So, right. You know, he actually does. By the way, what I was talking about, Jim Lee. It's Jim Lee's Wildcats. Yeah, he so created one. No, I was going to say, so of course Jim Lee's attached to it. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, but like, did he draw all of them? He drew a bunch of them. Like, he started out drawing them. Also, that's how the, the cartoon began. Yeah, well, it's his. I gotta open this one up, I'm sorry. Jim with, the, with, the, with the holographic cover? Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? The cover doesn't mean anything. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> this is great. I'm nice. Gonna, I'm not going to order things on the back, though. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Call those numbers, see if they're still active. Yeah, we should do that. Hello? <laughs> what are you what doing here? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> This is so cool! I can't believe I can't believe this. This is this amazing. Is really nice. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you Fred. so much. Like, what an amazing set. Oh, look at this. Oh, they I, love their. I gotta turn on the book. You get some widescreen comics. Now you know what I want to know is what did you pick up? Yeah, that replaced these. Oh yeah. So let us know, man. We'd love to hear about it. Rob cats. Put it in the comments down below. Yeah. Well, I am floored. I'm sorry. This is I'm, super I'm cool. Gone. I'm very excited. Lost, Tiffany. I'm putting it away. I'm putting, putting it away. Putting away the Wildcats. Away. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. Which is read Wildcats. I'm going to put it away. All I know is who's reading it with me, man. So. Thank you, <laughs> Seth. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I love that movie. What movie was it? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for your letters, for your packages, for these comics. It's amazing. I am beside myself. And thank you for getting us to 15,000. Oh my god. That's huge. Yeah. Absolutely. Really exciting. I'm looking forward to doing, we'll probably do like a live thing at some point to like commemorate that properly. What? That's Hellspawn. This is, no, this is, I, this is a source book. So it has like all information about the characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I found Ethan's, it has to be Ethan's favorite character. Oh yeah? Yeah. Or the, the Cabal! Yeah. I think it's not a character, it's a group of them. Yeah. But yeah, this, this must be Ethan's favorite team then. Oh yeah. That's I thought you said you were going to put that away. And this is a different one. Put them all away! <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, she's got that kind of account! Yeah. No! We'll hopefully no. do a live show to commemorate the 15,000, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much. Yeah! For all this, and for watching, and for liking, subscribing, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you can find it in your hearts to give us one more like, one more subscription, uh, we'd really appreciate it on this episode. And we'll see you guys next time with an all-new episode of Letters Page and everything else that we do here on Comic Pop. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. So long and happy reading. I know we're going to get a back issues on that uh, history of Batman at some point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the history of Batman. The return of Bruce Wayne, but we're getting it. Yeah, with, you know, Batman's oh, return. Yeah, this is happening. It's what like about, Turtles in Time. What about Ronan? No. Ronan might happen. Ben read Ronan. Oh, I've never read Ronan. Yeah. You could do that with uh, uh, Tiffany and Ethan. Yeah, could be. Oh, my God. You know, if he wasn't lost after the convergence. I mean, it's true. Yeah, that, that was sad. If he ever comes back, yeah, we'll do it. But like, which version of Ethan will it be? It's true. I'm excited to find out. Right? He could be like half Ethan, half robot. <laughs> he, he could also be like an Ethan in an alternate timeline where he actually did create getting physical with Ethan. Yeah. <sighs> what if that came back? I mean... Yeah. He, could I, be like, he could be like some late 80s Ethan. Mm. With a mullet.